uh, it's not just a rebound, it's an explosion of, uh, of travel happening, no? It is a major recovery from where it had been before, and it is just pure evidence of just how strong the pent-up demand has actually been. And whenever we come across the questions over what comes next, the very first thing that is still underway is this release of pressure. Think of it literally like a pressure cooker where you're lifting up the lid and the steam is coming out hot. And we know that this is not just on leisure travel where we know there's plenty of consumers, then the places where they've seen the green lights given that are looking to go and travel, they're making those bookings. It's also in business travel as well. And the interesting thing about when you look through the charts of the long haul, medium, short haul in the Asia Pacific region is that it's either been domestic, say somewhere like Australia, where that's been doing very well, or it's been long-haul travel. The next stage may well be a lot more of the intra-regional travel, and that way it may be where we see more of the pickup in the medium or short-haul flights as well. And we know that that is also underway as more and more economies in the region start to shine those green lights on allowing you to travel again. David, that said, let me just uh, push back on that a bit, if I, if I could. When you look at Airbnb, Expedia, at, uh, 52, uh, trading at 52-week lows. Does that tell you that recessionary conditions are looming and they could put a lid, to use your analogy, on uh, the post-pandemic recovery? Could it lose some steam? I would say the best way to think about this is if you're in a situation where for the last few years you were unable to do those things you had normally been used to doing, whether it is going on an international trip, maybe to a beach holiday or to some sort of cultural adventure, let's say, if uh, that was more your thing, and you haven't done it for so long. And at the same time, I'm thinking of the, those are the, the same folks within economies who also uh, were still employed. They were the ones working from home. Uh, they've been cooped up for so long. Uh, higher prices, uh, that is the key driver of, for example, why you're also getting rising interest rates, uh, is not the main concern immediately. You have the pent up savings and the desire to go, and you're going to go ahead and, and do that. Now, of course, this concern about globally, given that other parts of the world have also been recovering for longer and that they may maybe uh, running into this challenge, which is true everywhere, as we also mentioned in the report, of having wage growth not being as strong as inflation this year. Uh, that does, do, does matter, but uh, that's only after we've had some of that release of the pent-up 